Hey guys, and welcome back to another horrifying review. Today's review is on the animated Force Demon from Spirit Halloween for 2017. So, let's get started. First up, with the detail. Now, since it's made by Crazy Create, which, if you didn't know, that's also the same company that makes the Crowd Chamber Corpse and the Hazmat Zombie right there, and the uh, Hanging Hell Fiend. You may see my two reviews on that. But, what I said about Crazy Create's Hanging Hell Fiend, the, ha the detail on the hands was good. Same with the Forest Demon. Let's look on here. He's got the veins. And it just looks so real. I'm gonna go up for a better view. But yeah, you got the veins on his hands. And also with it looking and with his hands, they're really big. They're actually bigger than my hands. My hands are pretty small. His hands are a ton bigger. And also with the black nails, I really like those as well. And with the shredded clothing, that looks awesome and amazing. I love how it looks. It gives it sort of a creepy effect. Same with the hanging healthy. And he just has like ragged clothes and everything. For the wings, sorry if the wings look a little retarded. They're a little hard to unfold, so I'm sorry about that. They also have the the ragged clothing and everything. They've got like just a hanging down. And yes, they are posable. They hang down. But like I had them up a little bit. I don't know how people set them up so good. I guess they just know what they're doing. But anyway. With the detail on his face, it looks amazing, especially with the crevices. It's like he's angry, actually, like with his eyebrows and everything. It's like he's actually angry, especially with the crevices and everything. And even in his story, it says that he was nice, but then people made him angry or something. So, like, with these crevices on his forehead and everything and just the wrinkles and lines, those look cool. The horns look pretty nice, too. It's, like an, it's almost like an actual demon or something from hell. The mouth looks really detailed, especially with like the teeth and everything. And also and they also painted it red. I don't know if you can see it, but they painted it red like an actual tongue and everything. The beard, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really long. It's like goes from like his ear down to to here and that's to here. That's pretty long. And I do like how it looks. And with the pointed ears, that also looks cool. I'm trying to, try to oh, it's, it, the hood's connected, but you can't really see it. But the pointed ears, those also give it a cool effect. The eyes, the eyes look incredible. And also, they're the same eyes, or I don't know, but they're sim the eyes are similar to Menacing Molly's eyes. Like, you know, the sort of glassy eyes. That's what they did with this. I think they just put the little LEDs into the head. And then they just put the little eye on top of it. But then they must have stuck a little plastic layer on top of it into the head. So that it actually looks glossy and everything. So that's pretty cool. And also with the teeth, it also has the little fangs. So it's like sort of a vampire or actual demon. So that's pretty cool. That's something I like. With the durability, I'd say it's... On my personal opinion, it's okay. It's okay. Because, like, I have heard that some people's have broken. I've had it since... Or I've had them set up since, like, the first weekend of November. And... So far, nothing bad has happened. He hasn't clicked or anything. But... When I put the wings on this weekend... I... Or last weekend... It didn't go up as fast. So then I took the wings off. It went up a little bit faster. But it didn't go up as fast. Or at least what I remember. I can't really tell. But then I realized. I don't know what the problem was. But it still works. It's still good. As long. The only thing I really care about is if it breaks. Is if it breaks. But that would be a nightmare. <laughs> but 
overall, it hasn't broken yet. It just slowed down in the speed of jumping up, but nothing really bad has happened. So overall, I would say he is sort of durable. He's not really that able to withstand some s stuff, so I just would tell you to be aware of where you put him and what conditions he's in. And also what I forgot to mention for the detail, his legs are actually, are actually telescoping coals. I'll try to move stuff so you can see. It's a little hard, sorry. But yeah, they're like these little telescoping poles. And I actually have him up to full height. Right? Yeah, full height. He's like, when this is only when he's down. This is like maybe seven. Wait, it, it's like almost. He's like almost as tall as my door, which is six, eight. So this isn't when he's all the way up. This is when he's, this is when he's re recoiled. But his legs are all the way extended, so that's pretty tall. And then, when he's all the way up, and after his legs are fully stretched and jumps up, he goes much higher. He's like maybe seven feet, or maybe, maybe around seven foot three or something. My ceiling's eight feet, but he still is pretty tall, so that's something I like about the detail as well. Now for the price. Originally, I wasn't going to buy him because he was $250. So when he was originally $250 when he first came out and I saw that price, I thought that I probably wouldn't get this prop because it was too expensive or overpriced for the movement. But then... It went down to 200. This wasn't for the half off sale. This was bef this was b way before, like I think, the start of October or in October, sometime in the beginning of the month. But uh, then it it went down to 200, and I thought that. That was pretty good. It was only down $50. Sure, that's not a lot, but it, it was still cheaper. So then I thought it would be more affordable. So then for the half-off sale, as you know, everything's half-off. It was only two. It was 100 So I thought that that was a really good deal. So for him being $100 for the half-off sale... I think that he's completely worth it, like with all the nice detail it has on its face and hands and clothing and everything, especially with this enormous height, I think he'd be extremely worth it. So on that, I'd give him a thumbs up on the price, but if you bought it before the half off sale or like when he first came out or when he was 200, I'm sure that's probably worth it, but... Still, it would have been a little overpriced. Now for the animation. I will show you his animation at the end of the video. But it looks amazing. It goes up really high. His eyes light up and his mouth moves pretty well. And I have heard that some, their mouths don't move. Or like their mouths broke. But mine hasn't broken. But like I said earlier, mine... It used to go up fast, but now it doesn't it go up fast. It still goes up, but it goes up like a tiny bit slower than when I first got him. It only goes up a tiny bit slower, but I'm still okay with that. So now I will show you guys the animation of him in the light and in the dark. <laughs> Person as I am in your nightmares. Do 
you dare sleep knowing I am here? <laughs> of the innocent are hard to come by, but the souls of the broken like you are everywhere! <laughs> now, when I said that he went up a little fast, a little slower than when I first got him, you actually notice that he doesn't go up super fast, but he's still goes up all the way but with the wings he actually goes up slower than without the wings now i think it's because like the wings are so heavy so it puts a so it puts a lot of pressure on him so with that increased weight it it it, it, it doesn't have the force to pull it up fast so that's why i usually would probably recommend having the wings off and having them on only on halloween and if you want it to go fast, then you should probably have the wings off of it so that it doesn't pull all that tension on the mechanism and then eventually breaks and then it won't go up. So, overall, I would give the Forest Demon a 5 out of 5 star rating. There's nothing that's wrong with him, nothing bad, there's nothing that I don't like. Everything's perfect with him. So if you have this prop, feel free to tell me what you think about him in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and also don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>